So, so let's review together this accessible breakout game. So the first time you will load the game, you will see this default style sheet being loaded using eye contrast visual to help people that got some visual impairment to be able to still play the game. So this was my choice to load by default this style sheet and you see that we use the yellow bricks on and the black um, background. If you say that, for instance, you'd like to activate the blind only mode if you like to, it's still to have, you see, the white paddle, so it's got some accessibility option to help people to have a better gameplay experience, but I'm activating some high quality graphics if you like to, for people that are going to look at the screen of the blind user to still have some good experience. Of course, blind users don't mind about having good or bad graphics, but I thought it would be cool to see a blind people uh, using my game and still have some great experience for people having a look to, 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 to the current experience. At last, of course, if you don't have any visual problem, you can ac deactivate the blind uh, option. And you see that now the paddle is narrow because as you've got the, you're lucky enough to be uh, able to see the screen correctly. We are adding some difficulties for you if you like to. And also we're going to disable all the audio assistive uh, option I've been creating for this game. So let's say that we are blind. So to be able to play this game, um, if you want to have the feeling um, that how to create or to play this game, you can close your eyes. This was a way of being exper experimenting at the beginning before meeting a very uh, nice blind woman I've been working with to slightly tune the experience. If I'm pressing the start game, it's going to say it to the user that the game is starting, and you will see that the ball is going to move to break some bricks, of course. And what I've been creating also, I've decided to to play the music um, at a normal rate when the ball is perfectly aligned with the pedal over there. But let's imagine that the ball is going to move slightly out of the paddle to help the blind user to anticipate the fact that the ball is going to be not aligned anymore with the paddle. I've defined um, what I've told a tolerance zone. So if I'm, uh, if you think so, it's like something like that. So as soon as the ball is going to leave this specific area, for instance, coming over there, I'm going to start slowing down the music and play the music, for instance, on the right ear of the headset. To say to the blind user, the ball is currently leaving the paddle, so you may be going to lose if you're not adjusting the position, and the ball is currently on the right, because the music is being currently played on the right. Of course, if the ball is moving on the left, leaving the specific zone, then the music is going to be played on the left, and as as soon as you going very far from here, so let's air from there, if you're going very far from the, the specific paddle, then the music is going to slow down and slow down and slow down just to tell you that the ball is very, very far from the paddle. So you've got some audio information that way to help you transforming the current visual into audio information. So let's play to the game now. Talking game. You can hear that it's slowing down, so I need to move on the right. You can hear that also we are currently using the speech sensitivity library to say the number of bricks that are left. If the ball is moving on the left, you see that the music is slowing down, and I've got only the left speaker being enabled. Game over. And at last, of course, we're using the speech uh, library to tell to the user that he, he lost the game. He has lost the game, so he, he needs to start it again. And of course, if you're winning it, I'm going also to use the speech library to, to say that you've won and the score you've made. So it was really cool to try to find what I've been naming a universal design for this game, try to find the unique code base and some ideas to be able to create a breakout game for everybody. If you don't have any visual impairment, you can play the game, of course, but if you've got some slight difficulties or you're completely blind, you can still play the game. The ultimate experience that I would like to create, but I did not add the 
trying to do so would be maybe to create a kind of web socket game to let people that are blind and not blind to play together to the very same game it could be awesome so if you got some time and would like to contribute to the code feel free to go to the github repo and have a look to the code and maybe suggest some improvement thank you very much